So there's a window right in front of me, guys, and there's a tree branch, just one, just one, that is starting to turn red and orange, and I'm not okay with it. Like, I'm okay with fall, like, don't get me wrong, fall is fine, but it's the, it's the winter that follows fall that I'm not okay with. Except for Christmas. Christmas is okay, but other than that, I don't like it. Hello everyone! I'm here today to do a little get ready with me as I have no makeup on my face, except for my brows. My brows are done and that's only because I cannot talk while doing my brows. I learned that the hard way. I'm using all drugstore products today and I thought I would make it a little bit different and do a Q&A aspect to it as well. So I asked you guys on Twitter if you had any questions for me and I got a lot of really good questions. So I'm going to be answering them and doing my makeup at the same time. We're gonna chat, we're gonna hang out. I have my coffee here. I mean, I always have coffee, but, but I have coffee here. I have some new drugstore products I thought I would play around with as well as some tried and true favorites and I thought this would be really fun. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And without further ado, let's get into this. So I'm gonna start with this new product from e.l.f. This is their Hydrating Gel Mist because my face is feeling a little parched. Um, this is a gel to liquid mist that plumps and hydrates and it's supposed to also prep the skin for makeup application, so. That sounds good. I don't really know how to use this. I don't know if you're supposed to like spray it on your face or like spray in your hand first, so. Let's just go all in and spray it right on my face. Ugh. I don't know why Elf doesn't know what a fine mist is, but um, that was a little bit intense. But it does feel really nice on the skin, and it is sort of turning into like a like a water-like consistency, though, so that's kind of fun. So I'll continue on with my makeup. I will list everything down below in case I just miss talking about a particular product and the name of it. But um, now we're gonna get into the questions here. Um, so the first one is: Will your husband ever do a voiceover or tag type video? Um, he's been in a couple of my videos. He hasn't been in too, too many, like wedding video and introducing Julia and stuff like that. Um, but he just prefers to be more behind the scenes, so that's why he hasn't been in any more recent videos, which is totally fine. Not everyone is as comfortable being on camera um, as others. Sarah Ann wants to know, how do you film videos with two kids and no interruptions? I can't even use the bathroom alone. Oh girl, I feel you there. So both Chris and I work from home. By the way, I'm using a combination of the Infallible Pro Glow and the Wet n Wild Soft Focus for foundation today. Um, we both work from home, so when I am filming, Chris is hanging out with the kitties and they go to the park or just like hang out and play and stuff. Um, and uh, I will do filming and then when I'm not filming, I will hang out with the kids and Chris will get his work done. So we kind of just like swap back and forth and that's how I get things done. I, I don't even know how I would go about filming if I had the kids in the room as well because they'd all want to like climb up on the chair, or, like go and read stories and they'd want me to play. Like it just, it would not work. How do you balance YouTube and parenting? Do you struggle? Uh, yeah, I do struggle like a lot, all the time. It's just, it's, it's just a constant struggle because I want to film and I want to continue creating content, but I also want to be there with my kids and my family and hang out and do things. So there are often days where it's like, okay, we're just gonna get up early, we're gonna go to the zoo in the morning, then I come back and I wash my face and I put on a full face of makeup and then I'll film. And that's just the way I do things. That's the only way that I found that I can balance. Like I did a whole video on um, Rachel's life about balance and <laughs> I find that it's a lie like there is no balance you can't balance it's about having this like I call it like a pie like you know the like the graphs think back to school when you have like the pie graph you know like grade five and so if you want to spend more time in one like pie piece you're gonna have to take it out of other pie pieces to compensate and those pie pieces may suffer as a result and that's just life. You're, I don't know, I just have to, if I'm gonna spend more time with my family, then I'm not gonna be filming as much. And if I'm gonna be filming a lot of videos, I'm not spending as much time with my family. And so it's just a constant like back and forth. And I think that's just life. Like you're just, you're always trying to find some balance. Um, and it's just, for me, it's not really something that I try and achieve anymore and it's more like in the moment. So I'll link the video in case you guys are interested in like more details on that. Um, but yeah, it's something that I really struggle with all the time, constantly. So if you also struggle with it, know that you are not alone. I also, um, it, it's really tough. Like last night I was in tears because um, I had filmed a video and it didn't end up working, like the, just the sound was off and my eyeshadow was messed up and it just wasn't like, I'm a perfectionist, I want everything to look good and so I had spent all this time 
prepping and getting the video going and not spending time with my kids and then it didn't end up working and then I wanted to refilm it and I couldn't so you know I just I was like screw it I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna go and hang out with my kids and then by doing that I'm not filming and you know it's just it's I'm not gonna cry <gasps> I am not very comfortable with emotions guys I don't like crying and I don't like um, being overly emotional it's just my personality I don't like it but um, yeah it's 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 hard but at the same time I love what I do I love my kids and as with anything in life you know you just you like you make it work you know you just you put in the time into the things that you love and the things that are important and that's what I do I feel very blessed um, but you know like with anything like with anyone there are always going to be struggles okay back to makeup um, the concealer that I used is the infallible pro glows by L'Oreal um, and I use the um, yellow Maybelline master camo <laughs> this, this combination I was talking about this on Twitter I find this really weird like I get really personal about stuff and then I'm like hey concealer okay next question um, Taylor wants to know uh, I know you don't do many collabs but if you could collab with any youtuber who would you collab with um, yeah I don't do many collabs as I am in Z Canada and everyone else is either in New York or California a couple in Florida and powder that I'm using today is a new one this is the L'Oreal infallible pro glow I'm using a lot of pro glow today Wow the whole lineup apparently um, this I have not tried before. This is in Fair. This is their glow powder. It has a glow finish, medium coverage, and an air light texture. I'm gonna use my little like powder puff and I'm just gonna dip it. It's like split in half. Do you guys see that? So one side is gl glittery. Oh no, this could be bad. And then the other part is matte. So I guess I'm supposed to like mix them together, I guess. I don't know. So yes, collaborations. Um, I am not around anyone. Um, but I, I, in terms of people that I admire on YouTube and I think would be really fun to collaborate with, one is obviously Tati. I think I, I've already done a collaboration with her um, a couple of years ago. I'll link it in the cards in case you guys are interested. But um, she is such a genuine and good person and I've known her for a really long time. Um, her and James are very gracious and very kind people and I really like them and I just get a good good feeling from them um so i would love to collaborate with um tati again i think she is really really fun and very sweet and um she knows her stuff she knows a, a lot about makeup and then if there was another person it would probably be kathleen lights because again i just think she's a really nice and kind person and really sweet and that would be a lot of fun to collaborate with her as well um, and I just think she'd be a lot of fun to hang out with. I'm going to use the e.l.f. HD powder underneath my eyes again with that same um, Sephora powder puff thing. I know it's Sephora but like I'm not going to go out and buy powder puffs from Walmart that are identical to these when I spent five dollars from Sephora so I feel like it's basically a drugstore because it's the same price. Uh, Jessie Marie says what is your favorite makeup brand? Maybe makeup brand girl you can't do this to me I use so many different makeup brands and they all have really good ones and really bad ones I find like there hasn't been a brand that I've come across where it's like this hands down has everything that's amazing and I love everything um, but in terms of you know just ones that I feel are innovative and come up with great quality products um, I think L'Oreal would be one of them I think they have a good range of products and they do a great job with them um, another one is BH Cosmetics I think that they have good quality products and most of the products that I've tried from them have been fantastic um, and I'm trying to think another one would probably be Tarte would probably be another one um, again, they are very innovative. They have really cool and unique ideas for new makeup launches and I enjoy a lot of their products. So to answer your question, no, I cannot pick one. <laughs> so I picked three and avoided answering that question. Next question. I'm using the Butter Blush. This is by Physicians Formula in Vintage Rouge. And the next question, um, how did you get your YouTube channel started? So I started uh, a long time ago. What, like nine years ago? Go or so is when I uploaded and like I didn't upload very often I was still I was working full-time at the time and um, I just started posting because I was working like outside of the city and all my friends were working in the city and so I found that 
it was kind of boring for me after work and I'm like, nobody's here to hang out with me. Boo. But I had always really enjoyed makeup and fashion and like playing around and experimenting with makeup. So I was looking up a picture for like a makeup look. Like I don't, I don't even, probably Kim Kardashian or something. And I came across a YouTube tutorial, someone recreating the look. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. So like I started watching them and I was started to comment and I built friendships there and started asking questions and I was learning a lot through that. So then I just like posted one one day and um, it's all sort of like gone from there. Like I, I haven't been one of those YouTubers where it's like you post a couple of videos and like boom, it's like viral and it just explodes. Like. I've built up over time and it's sort of been like, uh, I don't know, like just, just like a slow and steady climb and I've been very blessed and I'm very grateful for that, but it's never been one of those like, yeah, overnight success, this is, this is what's happening here. My life says, are you going to be doing videos Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday um, all year? And uh, yeah, I, I am trying to, <laughs> that is my goal. I've been trying to like up the number of videos that I've been doing and just create more content and I'm trying to come up with new concepts and new series ideas and stuff like that. So if you guys have any requests or things that you really enjoy that I do that you wanna see more of, leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. I love taking in all of your suggestions and recommendations and I appreciate all the support. So um, yeah, I've been doing my best to, to upload more often and more frequently and uh, we'll, see, we'll see where it goes. But as of right now, yes, definitely planning to continue to um, post more often and Tuesday, Thursday, Friday seems to be like the best um, situation right now. Catherine asks, if you could change you or your kids' names, what would you change it to? Oh my goodness, probably not, and only because it took me and Chris like forever to pick our kids' names. Not so much Julia, I found that girls' names were a lot easier to pick than um, boys' names, but man, Luke was a struggle. Like for girls' names, I think Chris and I sat down and we picked out like five or six girls' names where we're like, yes, these are amazing, love them, we're going to keep these and we're gonna see what she looks like and then we'll decide what what she's going to be and we decide like right away we're like Julia that is a Julia and then for Luke it was like we struggled for the, like the entire pregnancy we're like this name this name no yes no yes and like then we sat down and it was like the next day after Luke was born and we're like maybe we need to like come up with a name for this guy so I looked at him and I was like Luke we're going with Luke and he's very much a Luke to me now and I, I can't imagine them being anything other than their names. Also, I really like my name. I was apparently named after uh, like a robot in Blade Runner who was named Rachel or something. I've never seen Blade Runner but like apparently that, that was her name and that's who I was named after. In case, in case anyone was wondering. Oh, and highlight I'm using is the uh, Master Chrome by Maybelline. This one is a really, really good one. If you've been thinking about buying this, hold off. I got you guys, I got you, <laughs> stay tuned. Jackie wants to know, how do I deal with hate comments um, and do I ever get spotted in public? Um, in terms of hate comments, I feel like I am pretty blessed with it, like not getting a lot of them and maybe it's just because I don't respond to them because I really don't have time in my life to respond to them. Like I just, I, I actually genuinely don't understand, like just envisioning someone sitting at a computer and being like, I don't like your hair. Like I, I, and I applaud you for having time in your life to do that because I just, I don't. But yeah, there are always gonna be people that don't like what you do and are having a bad day and just wanna take it out on you and like, whatever. That is my entire thing. I just don't look at it. And do I ever get spotted in public? Um, sometimes like, places like Sephora or Mac or sometimes like the drugstore or something um, I will I will see people and it's really fun I really enjoy it so if you do see me in public like going around or shopping or whatever like come and say hi because I really like it I'm also really nervous because I don't know like do I go up and like give you a hug is that like too much is that like overwhelming I don't know but like I always want to give people hugs and like say hi and like chat and stuff Starless Galaxy wants to know what do you do when you feel down um, when you don't even want to wake up in the morning um, I mean a lot of people have those days. I mean, I've talked a little bit about 
suffering from anxiety. I think there are many people out there that do and I love the fact that people are becoming more open about talking about that. I think that's great. Um, I've dealt with it probably for close to seven years now, I wanna say, um, and it's something I continue to struggle with. I don't beat myself up or I try not to beat myself up about it because everyone is going to have days when you're feeling blah and you're not feeling like yourself, you're just feeling low and allowing myself to have those moments is important because not everyone's gonna be happy all the time and so allowing yourself to be like, okay, I'm not feeling my greatest right now and that's okay is also kind of important. But I think that for me having goals is really important. So whether it's the goal for the day or it's a goal for a week, that helps get me up and get me going. I will say extra prayers. I will talk to Chris. I will talk to my sister. I will vent. I will anything that I can think of because otherwise I'll just wanna like sit in bed and wallow and I think that over time that makes it worse. So I try and give myself that moment, say okay, we're good, and then continue on. Melanie wants to know, will there be a new beauty box soon? I don't know, maybe. Kayla wants to know, have I ever thought about moving to the US? Um, <sighs> thought about it like like as in I don't know the like a couple of years ago being like wouldn't it be cool if I moved to the states but not ever in a, like a very like real way being like okay moving to the states what would I need to do okay I need to get a visa and like a house and stuff like no I'm Canadian my family is Canadian we are all in Canada and that's where I'm staying I have no plans of moving outside of the Canada and I'm very happy where I'm at. By the way, the mascara that I'm using right now, this is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, which is one of my favorites from the drugstore. The only thing I will say is that after like five or six months, it does tend to get very clumpy and dry. That's, I mean, like it makes sense because the mascara isn't supposed to last, like you shouldn't be using a mascara for longer than six months because you should be changing those quite frequently. But that's kind of annoying because I like to use my mascara for longer than six months. Brittany asks, what is my favorite dinner recipe? Um, you know what? Fun fact, I don't really do any of the cooking anymore in our house. Um, Chris does majority of it and he has become such an incredible cook. It's amazing. Um, so I would say one of my favorite things that he makes, actually, you know what? This is the, this is the time. You guys need to know about this cookbook. Get ready, are you ready? If you like to cook, you need to get this book. It's called The Food Lab and it is unbelievable. Every recipe I have tested out of that book, and by tested I mean eaten, they are incredible. So one of my favorites is the crispy chicken burger and then Chris also makes a really, really good smoked salmon on the, it's called the green egg. It's like a type of barbecue, but it's like a smaller one that you use for like slow roasting things and it is unbelievable. So those are probably my favorite dinners and they're all super time consuming. Sarah wants to know what my kids think of my YouTube channel. Um, and oh, by the way, I'm using the Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist. I'm just spritzing it onto the, the blending sponge and I'm just gonna pat it into my skin. Um, so I don't think they really understand what I what I do or what my YouTube channel is or anything. They just know that mommy goes upstairs and does filming and that's that's pretty much it. Sometimes she shows up on the computer when I'm like editing and stuff and they're like, oh, there you are. And you're also here, that's fun. And like, they don't think anything of it. So that's, that's pretty much all they know. Noah wants to know if I went to college and if I did, what did I study? Um, yes, I went to university here. I did my business degree um, and I, that's where I actually met Chris. And so I actually went to university originally in sort of like it was a business-like program and then um, I decided I wanted to go to like a more exclusive business school. So I applied, I got in, that's where I met Chris. Chris stayed there a little bit longer because he did his law degree concurrently. And um, yeah, I really wanted to be a marketer. That was sort of like my goal. <laughs> and I was just going to work for a company and work in marketing and advertising. You guys know I love that stuff. I talk about packaging and like PR packages and stuff because I find it fascinating having been on that side of the fence a little bit. I, I find it really interesting what they've come up with and cool concepts and things like that. So that's what I originally went to school 
to do and that's what I did when I started into YouTube is I was doing marketing stuff. Okay, lip product, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. You guys have heard me talk about these like nonstop. If you wanna see a full video that I dedicated entire to, entirely to these products because I love them that much, um, I will put a link in the cards. I swatched everything on my lips. I showed you guys what they look like, how well they were, but these like do not come off your lips. They stay put all day long. It is ridiculous. And I'm not gonna talk all day this cause then I'm gonna mess up. All right, lipstick on. And we're gonna answer one more question and then we're gonna spray some setting spray on. Um, and we're gonna answer, oh, the best question of all of them, um, which is by, uh, this is from Jess and it's, what is your favorite cookie? Great question. I would say my absolute favorite cookie is oatmeal chocolate chip, homemade, from scratch, my mother-in-law's recipe. It's amazing. Oh, now we're gonna spray. And then the other one would be like the chocolate cookie with the white chocolate chips. I think those are probably my favorite if I had to pick some. And there we go, we are done. I have my makeup on. I feel like that took a really long time because like answering questions, I think it's a long time while also doing makeup and making sure that my camera doesn't die on me. I hope you guys liked this video. It was a lot of fun to film. If you want to see more of these, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And that's everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.